Hello, this is Tov from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And this is actually part two of the one that we did last week, which, which was the GeoSigns add-on. Uh, the reason why I'm doing a part two is because there are still some more features that I would like to showcase. If I did it in the first one, it would have been too long. But with this one, it's going to be a part two, making it a little bit shorter. Uh, but there's some other things you got to have to look into when it comes to using the add-on to get the signs that you want to get customized. So uh, this layer is still the same. Uh, go to Edit, Preferences after you've downloaded it onto your system. Uh, click on Install, navigate to where you've installed it. Click on Install Add-on. I've already done that myself. Let me type it in. Put a check in the box and it's activated. And it's over here on the right-hand side of your user interface. Um, now the what I wanted to showcase, let's get rid of this cube first by pressing Delete on our keyboard is the, uh, let me see, the sign text asset library. Now when you click on that, you'll see that it has four packs, um, Japanese, Taiwan signs, assets, uh, the comprehensive sign and asset packs that contains English with all the uh, Japanese and uh, I don't know if it's Taiwanese language, but it's from Taiwan. And when you click on import assets, it'll import all of the ready-made text in Japanese, Taiwanese, and in English. Uh, but if you're trying to figure out, well, how am I supposed to use this on the bracket itself? Uh, this is how you do it. Let's press Control Z. Let's go back to, let me see, the main assets library. Scroll down, click on import assets, and then you have your bracket there. Let's uh, click and drag on the hand gets mode to center our window here. And then uh, when you have that sign, your bracket selected for your sign, go back to the sign text asset library, and then click on import assets. And what it'll do, let's press one on our keyboard. What it will do is that it will actually automatically put those uh, pre-made signs onto the bracket. Now you're saying, well, how can I toggle through, look through the rest of the uh, options for the pre-made signs there? Just scroll down to have the sign selected, scroll down to random, random seed, and left click. You can just cycle through all of them. And just stick with the one you want to actually use. So that's pretty handy, that's pretty nifty, that's pretty cool. Uh, another thing I wanted to showcase, let's close this out open up a new window don't save that delete our cube and let's go down to the geo sign out once again is how to use the uh, draw curve now what you're going to do with this is that let's go back to our main asset library again import signs go on to the top view and it's important to do this so you can have the right orientation for your handwritten sign and we're going to click on draw curve and I'm going to just write hey here with the curve tool it's not the best penmanship but that's good enough and press tab go back into the object mode there you can see that it's been um, highlighted there we're going to click on our bracket there and then we're going to scroll down and go to Joe node control click on this hamburger uh, menu and click on source settings now I don't know if this is necessary but just for the sake of not having any mistakes let's click on that press zero to turn that off and we're going to actually let's just name our curve so we know which curve we're going to use left click in there uh, let's uh, left click and drag to kind of expand that uh, our um, what's this called again our outliner and this is what we have highlighted in our scene. Left click twice and let's type in hey just so we can identify our curve there. And let's go back to our bracket again, scroll down, and in this option here, let's make this a little bit wider, more uh, visible, where it says curve, left click in there and click on hey. You press one of your keyboard and there's your sign. That's what you've just written, the word hey. And that's how I can actually use uh, the curve, draw curve option to make customized 
signs. You can draw pictures with it, uh, draw uh, words, write words, whatever. But like I said before, make sure that when you actually use the curve tool, make sure your orientation is in top view by pressing seven. So you can see the, uh, have it actually applied correctly onto the bracket. So this is very important. So let's go back to our bracket again and press one. Let's change our viewport to so we can actually see this in uh, the shaded uh, option, which it would be cycles. Uh, let's left click in there, turn it from EV to cycles, use GPU compute. And we're going to click there. And this is the last option I wanted to show that you that is actually useful for you. You can see that our signs lit up and it's got pretty much a solid neon line for all the letters. Let's scroll up on our with our mouse wheel to so get a closer look at this. And kind of reposition this so we can see a bit get a better a better view. Now with our sign selected, we're going to change the way this is displayed. Our our words are displayed, our letters are, are displayed. Uh, so let's click on that and go to let me see. Is it here? Oh yeah, neon sign control. And light type, click in there. Type in zero. And you can see that now it's turned from a solid, solid lines for the uh, letters to dotted. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so those were the three things I wanted to showcase uh, extra for the GeoScience add on. And once again, thank you guys who have subscribed. And thank you guys who have been watching the video. And I'm hopeful to you, or hopeful that. Uh, you watching these video clips will be helpful for you in the future. And remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.